All right, guys, so you watched Alex and I take apart the front end a little bit on his car and kind of get things sorted out a little bit, but this is where we're at. This fender is supposed to be able to bolt up right in here on the apron. So this whole apron is crunched in, and the, uh, the, the pillar, the frame, I guess you can call it frame, part of the unibody frame is kinked in there. So. What we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna throw a wheel on the car and we're gonna get it on the trailer and take it to Johnny's dad's shop, which has a frame. We'll be able to mount the car secured and straighten everything out, measure everything, square it all off to make sure that all the new parts will bolt on nice and straight. Dude, straight up fixed. Brand fixed. New, brand new Done. Ready. Ready to drift. Good job, bro. You did a great What's, job. What, why is I'm gonna hit you? <laughs> said I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey. You're good, bro. Good as new. What you doing, Alex? Give us an update. Uh, just giving it a little wash to the parts where I'm not gonna reach for a so little while. So we took off all the AC stuff. EGR stuff's gonna come off as well. But now that there's access to it, everything's kind of open and exposed. Figure this is a good time to give it a rinse. Damn, bro, hell is sick. To order up fans. You don't have any fans? I thought you had two subscribers. Dude, I have more than that. Don't, don't I have number one. Oh. Don't embarrass me. So everything's eliminated and cleaned up. We took out the sprayers for the windshield and the, the reservoir. Uh, took out the AC, the AC lines, the condenser, the extra AC pulley with the belt. Um, what else? The EGR nonsense with the air pump nonsense. Basically all the smog stuff that we do not need. Then we're gonna do a little wire management, try to clean this up and simplify as best as we can. It's been a couple days. What do you have to say? What's the update? I hate cars. Uh -huh. I hate 36s. Drifting is stupid. 
Now I can't wait to go drifting again. <laughs> Well, let me start it up and make sure the cooling is all in there. Now what? You really had to change quite a bit of stuff, didn't you? Absolutely, I did. New rack? A new old rack. Did, it, did yours go bad? Yes. Well, look at the plus side. You got rid of the M rack. True. Now we have a linear one. None of that progressive nonsense. Watch, Spencer gave me an M3 one. <laughs> oh, bastard. Alex the vlogger. Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Get yourself in yours, dude. Okay. Action shot right here. This is the gayest thing we've done on this channel. <laughs> Dude, Alex, why is your car so dirty in here? I'm a freaking retard, dude. You have so much junk in here. What's going on? What's going on, dude? Dude, it's a drift car. It's supposed to be all beat up. Oh, oh okay. I'm an idiot, dude. I just bolted this up without that bar. <laughs> I like that. Where did you get these? These are made by Ping Ping in China. <laughs> That's slightly racist. It's very racist. Don't use this. <laughs> These are some typical like eBay slash Amazon harness bar. With the sound in the background? Yeah. <laughs> That's on harmonizing too. <laughs> there we go. Your song ended. Dude, are you gonna put a seat in here or what? No. Alex, uh why did you install your harnesses this way? It's easier. I don't have to buy stupid bars or anything. You just one bam go. Guys, please don't ever do this. It's so bad. That's like asking for a snapped spine. Spinal. So you have a harness on it. Yeah, no, that's not exactly how it works. There are certain ways a harness is supposed to be installed. This is one of the This ways is that definitely is. not one of them. That's solid, solid. Yeah, that's solid, of course. That's what's supposed to happen. Do a little yerk yerk. Uh oh, I hear something moving. That's your center console moving. Something's moving over there. That's oh, I did tighten down that side of the... That's a good seat, dude. It is a good seat. Good job. Thanks, dude, that I don't remember. Yeah, give me a, a little bit, maybe like... A little more slack? No, no, so, uh, tighten them up. Hey, I like your custom hood paint, bro. Yeah, dude, it's... Uh, it's it was like wrapped. marble top. <laughs> <laughs> custom marble. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This guy's putting in his cool new seat and harness. Woo! And then me over here, I'm breaking stuff, taking the car apart. And I found a radiator leak out of nowhere. So now I have to deal with that. Because I don't have enough things to deal with, like control arms. And of course we won't be filming that because we'll get distracted and be busy so you won't see any of it. Probably. As usual. I'm just here detailing my car. So just a tip for you guys if you want to clean your dashboard. Remove the windshield your for windshield easy access. Out of your car. And easy. <laughs> and my my radiator is leaking too. Is it? No, it's not. Too. Yours is not. Is it really leaking? I got some wet some wetness. Really? Uh, I think it was from this top hose. Did we take care of that? I think we took care of it. We snugged it up. Well, and then we flipped. Oh, you know what? It might be from the actual. Yeah, it's from the plug. Mine's heck of dripping though. I don't know from where, but it's coming somewhere from up top because it's like coming down here. It's not just at the end. I pulled the uh, E46 control arms out. The ball joint itself is fine, but like the bushing around it. Shoot, let's see if I can capture this. This rubber bushing around it. See how it's coming out? Yeah, so the ball joint like moves. It like wiggles in the actual arm, so driving that is very, very scary. These served me for four years, and it's time to move on. Look at all that self clearancing. I like it. Just more and more angle, it gets more and more angle the more you drive it. I figured, I figured I'll drop off these E46 ones for Evan to kind of base the geometry off 
make sure that the caster kind of stays relatively same as what I had. This setup was working for me, so I really don't want to mess with the geometry too much. Um, but the E36 ones are narrower, which will allow clearance here, and he's just going to extend it. So basically, it's going to be E46 spec, E36 arms. Hey, I found out why. Did it le did it leak through? Look at these things. Little studs. Son of a bitch, it went through. Huh? They were touching them, and I guess it like. Shit. But I mean, I've had this radio for so long, and only now it finally did it. Eventually, over time, I guess. I think that one's leaking. Did your engine? Uh, these no. top, this one's leaking for sure, because I think this is where it's coming from. You can see it's yellow. Like the general area is like kind of rusted. So, what are you gonna do? And then I think, I don't know if this one is leaking as well. You need a new one then. No, I'll just have these rolled in. Really? Yeah. Shorten those? Yeah, I just need to shorten these these four. No, no, I'll just take this whole thing from you so you don't have to so worry. So you don't have to worry about the problem again? It won't happen again. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, right? I mean, if it's not on the car, there's no way it's going to happen again. Yeah. Problem Next. solved. I have a uh, uh, mechanical fan for you, if you'd like. Uh, I don't know about Those that. work really well. They're actually the best for E36s. Well. Maybe. Not for this E36, though. No mechanical fan here. No fan at all, actually. No fan. You got no fans. I have no <laughs> fans. Dang, bro. You, why you gotta do me like that? Look at these goofs right here. So everyone's making stuff. Johnny's over here. What are you working on? My radiator. Making a shroud for it. Dude, this is looking good. It's a nice shroud. Yeah. That's good. Oh, shoot, Johnny. Watch out, dog. <laughs> No, this is nice. This is good. So Johnny got it. Johnny's always been fighting with a little bit of heating issues on the crest, crest and the end of He's been dealing with some issues. Johnny has problems. So he got a new aluminum radiator and he's making a cool fancy uh, fan, shroud. Know, shroud, fan shroud for that. I like that. That's coming out really good. So now, now what do you need? What now is, it's got a wall on little tabs here. Okay. Fill in these little holes. Oh, you're going to do all that? Okay. Yeah, and then it's pretty much done. Yeah, I like it. Most importantly, I fixed the mirror that you broke. Uh, I did, hey, I did, I did not smack your rear end into my car. You did that. But I did miss a gear. <laughs> I did my part, you did your part. seven years, good luck, right here. What? Hey, you glued all the pieces back? Yeah, it's multi-angle, so I can see. Hey, I don't have to adjust much. Dude, it has so much more character. I love it. Can you actually see that? Yeah, you can still see. I see chunks. It's chunks. <laughs> I like it. Oh, well, yeah. Well, let's go over there. Where? Uh, to the car. Ooh, boy. Dude. Dude. That looks really good. That looks really good. That's like a beefy setup right there. What is this, Alex? This is a differential. Uh huh. What type That's... of gearing? What kind of gearing is this? I don't know. The same one you have, so Ooh. you can keep up with me. Boy, bruh. So Alex is gonna get same 391 gears. We're gonna have both BMWs running the same gearing ratio, with his making a little bit more power, but the yellow one, of course, having a much better driver. Amen to that. <laughs> Finally speaking some truth out here. Dude, I'm gonna be missing shifts on you all day, dude. You want me to redo it? No. <laughs> yeah. Forward back. Hey, in. man, I missed the shot. Can you get the fluid back inside? Yeah. You get a little bit off the bottom here. Uh huh. And you just kind of <laughs> you block this shit so it doesn't come out. What kind of reflexes do you have when you touch that gear oil? If you guys want to see how I clean this, check out my channel. Just kidding, don't. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna add your channel in here. No. Yes, I'm gonna do it.